On today's menu, we've got these little kiddos, which I am calling Salsa Verde Beef Bowls. They're made up of beef, red onion, shredded cabbage, poblano peppers, cilantro lime rice, and salsa verde to go over the top. The best part about this one is that you should be able to prep, cook, and plate it in well under an hour. And if you can't, well, be faster. Let's get started. The first step I do in any meal prep recipe that contains rice is to prep the rice. In this recipe, I used three cups or 450 grams of cooked rice, so that can be anywhere between one and two cups of dry rice, depending on what kind of rice you use. Wash it until the water runs clear and get it cooking so you can prep your other ingredients. Next, you're gonna start the beef so that you can use the time that it's cooking to chop up your vegetables. If you're anything like me, the second you get in the kitchen, you are ready for it to be over. So use your time wisely to make things move faster. Be smarter than the kitchen. For the beef, heat a large skillet over medium high heat, like a six and a half out of 10, and add a bit of oil. For reference, I used about five grams of oil here, which is equivalent to one teaspoon. For the cooking of the beef and the vegetables in this recipe, I've accounted for the use of two tablespoons or 30 grams of oil total. So divide that out and use it as you need it. Next, take two pounds or 908 grams of 90-10 ground beef, season it with salt and pepper, and add it to the pan to brown. Once it's in the pan, you can season the backside lightly with salt and pepper as well. And if you're asking yourself, why is he only seasoning the left side of that beef? I've got a fan going to blow the steam away from the camera so it doesn't fog up the lens. I'm playing the wind. While the beef is cooking, we can take that time to chop up our vegetables, starting with one medium or 200 grams of a red onion. Slice off the root and the stem, cut it in half, remove the peel, and then chop those halves into thin slices. Next, you're gonna take two medium poblano peppers or 150 grams worth and cut that into a medium dice. Now, if you don't have poblano peppers where you live, a green pepper will serve as a fine substitute. Then you can take one small head of green cabbage or 227 grams, which is about a half of a pound, remove the stem, quarter it, and cut each quarter into thin slices. Cabbage is one of my secret weapons for bulking up the volume of meals without adding many calories. If you don't wanna deal with shredding up a head yourself, you can buy the pre-shredded stuff in the bag and save yourself some time. Next, you can roll out a couple of limes, one to be used for juicing and the other to be used for an optional garnish to add to the final dish. Another optional garnish would be one small chili pepper or about 15 grams worth. Depending on how spicy you want things, you can use either a jalapeno or a serrano. Our last bit of knife work is to take a half of a bunch or 20 grams of cilantro and roughly chop it for the cilantro lime rice. Unless you are speedy Gonzalez with the knife, at some point during your chopping, your beef will be ready to turn. So keep an eye on it, and once it has been going for a few minutes, flip it over to the other side and give the top a chance to brown as well. Continue to cook this until it is fully browned and break it up into smaller pieces. Once it is finished cooking, you can remove it from the pan to cook the vegetables. Next up, we're gonna to toast our spices. So add a bit more oil to that pan over medium heat, about a five out of 10, and then add in one teaspoon or three grams of chili powder, one teaspoon or three grams of cumin, and one teaspoon or three grams of smoked paprika. Stir those around in the oil for about 30 seconds and make sure to keep them moving so that they don't burn. Add in a bit more oil if needed and then pour in your red onions. Remember, I've accounted for 30 grams of oil to be used in this entire recipe for cooking both the beef and the vegetables, so add it bit by bit as you find necessary. After your onions have been going for about two minutes, you can pour in your poblano peppers and stir those around to cook as well. Lightly seasoning these with salt early in the cooking process will help to draw out some of the water and make them cook faster. Next, you can add in one tablespoon or 15 grams of minced garlic to the pan and continue cooking the onions and the peppers until they have softened a bit. Lastly, add in your shredded cabbage and cook for an additional two to four minutes, stirring it around to coat with the oil and the seasonings. Once the cabbage has had its time in the pan and has wilted down a bit, the vegetables are ready to go and you can remove the pan from the heat. If you have time while the vegetables are cooking, you should prepare the salsa cups for the final dish. Get out five small containers that will fit inside of your meal prep containers, as well as your favorite jarred salsa verde from the store. You're gonna use 1.25 cups or 300 grams of the salsa verde and divide that out into the smaller metal containers. A basic salsa verde is very easy to make homemade, so if you wanted to do that, you could. I use the jarred stuff just to save time. For the cilantro lime rice, get out a large bowl and add to it three cups or 450 grams of cooked rice. Then add the fourth cup or 20 grams of chopped cilantro, as well as two tablespoons or 30 grams of lime juice. Season this with salt to taste, stir it around, mix it up, give it a taste test, and adjust any flavors as you see needed with salt and lime juice. Now that all of our components are finished, we can construct everything together. Grab your pan with the vegetables as well as your cooked ground beef and pour the rice and the beef into the pan with the vegetables and stir it together until it is well mixed. From this point, I give it a taste test and I adjust any flavors with salt, pepper, and lime juice to taste. Now you're ready to plate it up. This recipe makes five servings, so lay out five of your meal prep containers and divide the contents of that pan evenly between the five. There are a lot of new people here, meaning that I have to say this again, so I apologize to all of you who have heard me say this 10 million times, but eyeballing the portion sizes will be just fine. I go scoop by scoop into the containers until the pan is empty. If you wanted exact amounts in each dish, you would need to weigh the contents of the pan and divide that number by five to determine how much goes into each dish. 
As long as you eat all the meals by the end of the week, it does not matter if one has slightly more or less than another, it will all even out to be the same in the end. Each one of the dishes gets a salsa cup and I garnish with a lime wedge and pepper slices just to make them look a bit nicer for the camera. Each one of these salsa verde beef bowls has about 540 calories and 42 grams of protein. Give them a chance to cool down a bit while they are still uncovered and then you can lid them up and move them into the fridge for the week. You don't want to cover these up while they are still hot because it will create moisture inside of the container. Not only will this make it take longer to cool, it also affects the quality of the product over the course of the week. I'll usually leave them on the countertop for 15 to 20 minutes before tossing on the lids and then moving into the fridge. Once they are in the fridge, they should last up to 5 days. Whenever it comes time to reheat, pop off the lid, remove the salsa container and lime wedge, and place it into the microwave. Stir every 60 seconds until it is at your desired temperature. Once it's hot, I'll squeeze some lime juice over the top and then stir up the salsa and pour that over everything as well. If you wanted to freeze this meal, I would recommend plating it as just the beef and the vegetable mixture. I wouldn't freeze the lime or the salsa as these are easy to add whenever you are ready to take the meals out of the freezer to eat. I personally never freeze any of the actual meal prep dishes that I make. I only do snacks and similar things for the freezer. If you are going to freeze the meals though, a high quality container that is airtight is a must. Seeing as how I don't freeze any meals, I can't really give a good recommendation. I'm trying to get Zwilling to make us a nicely shaped meal prep container that would be perfect for this, but until then, your guess is as good as mine. The containers you see in the video here are from Ikea. I'm sure that they would do fine in the freezer, but I rate them as a 4.1 out of 10 overall. They are probably the best glass meal prep container I've come across, but they're still annoying and I don't really like them. They aren't nestable, the lids suck, and they aren't quite my preferred shape. Anyway, the full written version of the recipe for these Salsa Verde beef bowls is on my website and it's linked in the description below. If you guys have any recipe requests you'd like to see made into a meal prep recipe, I'm always open to suggestions. Over the last six years, I've taken many of the recipes my mom and grandma used to make for me as a kid and made meal prep versions out of them. So if you have anything in mind that you'd like to see, let me know. That's it for this week. See you next time.